is the ghost of Hotel Coronado. Stay tuned after this. What's up, Grayson Report? I hope I find you well. This story is something I've always found interesting, and it is the lady in black, a.k.a. Kate Morgan, known to walk the beaches of Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego, California. It is a hotel I've been wanting to go to. I've just haven't had a chance. I've seen it from afar, from across the bay. It is a beautiful hotel. Uh, a, an amazing city. So let's check out this story. It is from All That's Interesting. And it is the true story of Kate Morgan, the ghost of Hotel Del Coronado. A century ago, Kate Morgan checked into the Hotel Del Coronado and took her own life. Now guests claim her spirit may never have left. Kate Morgan lived an ordinary and rather unremarkable life by most accounts. Her death, however, has captured the attention of many for the past 125 years. Born in Iowa in 1864, Kate Morgan lived with her family for just two years before her mother passed away. She was then sent to live with her grandfather in 1865. In her early 20s, she met and married a man named Thomas Edwin Morgan. However, the marriage was not a happy one. The couple had a son, but tragically he did not survive, passing away only two days after his birth. After only five years of marriage, Morgan left her husband and ran off with another man named Albert Allen. This relationship also did not appear to have lasted, although there are very few records of Morgan's life at this time. The next time she was reported, cited, she was ill and alone. Her next appearance was at the Hotel Del Coronado in 1892. She arrived in late November, checking in under the name Mrs. Lottie A. Bernard, Detroit. The staff reported that she seemed ladylike, beautiful, reserved, and well-dressed, but troubled and very melancholy. I don't blame her for being melancholy. She lost her child uh, after two days. Uh, her marriage was not a happy one, and obviously her next relationship after that didn't work out. It didn't go into much detail, but I can see why she was sad. Um that that had to have been rough on her though she mostly kept to herself she was in frequent contact with the housekeeper who often visited her room to clean up and run her bath she confessed that she had been diagnosed with stomach cancer and was at the hotel awaiting her brother a doctor who was on his way to assist her with her failing health however a few days passed and she received no letters and no one arrived to meet her and this was her brother that was supposed to meet her like come on her spirits seemed to sink even lower, and at some point, she ventured down into the city to purchase a pew-pew. On the evening of November 28th, Morgan went down into the exterior veranda with her pew-pew in hand and stood to face the ocean in the middle of a cold storm. Her body was discovered lying on the steps by the beach by the hotel's assistant electrician very early the next morning. Police were quickly called to remove her body in order to to shield the tragedy from the other guests. They were able to confirm she died of a pew-pew shot wound and her pew-pew was found lying next to her body. She was laid to rest near the hotel in the Mount Hope Cemetery in San Diego. Ah, have any of you gone to Mount Hope Cemetery in San Diego to see her grave? That, that would be kind of cool. Uh, comment below. Although those are the only verifiable facts many myths and stories have spread ever since surrounding the mysterious circumstances around her death in the 1980s a san francisco-based lawyer named alan may began investigating old case files pertaining to her death when he came across an interesting fact the pew pew found in the skull did not match the caliber of the pew pew she had bought which prompted him to believe that the wound may not have been self-inflicted Although the new theory that there may have been foul play renewed interest in Morgan's death, the case was never officially reopened. I mean, I find this interesting that there's a possibility that someone might have been involved in her death, but I felt I feel like with her story and how alone she was, the taking her own life seems more plausible than someone actually inflicting 
harm to her. Whatever the cause of death, many people remain convinced that the unhappy spirit of Kate Morgan never left the hotel. Numerous paranormal sightings have been reported around the Hotel Del Coronado, including unexplained breezes, sounds and smells, doors opening and shutter, shutting without warning, and frequent sightings of a ghost figure that bears resemblance to Kate Morgan. Guests have also reported electronics such as lights and televisions that turn themselves on and off. The hotel gift shop is also apparently a favorite haunt as guests and workers have claimed that souvenirs and other goods from the shop occasionally fly off the shelves but mysteriously remain unbroken. I feel like with this, the hotel's been around for a long time. So I don't feel like it it could be necessarily be Kate Morgan's spirit. There could be other spirits that we don't know about roaming the halls of Hotel Coronado. So I feel like this could be an open um, statement that it's not necessarily Kate Morgan doing it. Rather than scaring guests away, the guest of Kate Morgan has drawn many paranormal enthusiasts to the Hotel Del Coronado. The room she stayed in, which was 3327, before she died, is the most requested room in the entire hotel so i've always known her as the lady in black and the story that i know of is that she's roaming the beach because they've said they've seen the lady in black walking the beach waiting for her long lost love i had no idea that she was suffering from stomach cancer which is what my mom had passed away from so it's kind of quadinky dink that i'm talking about the story um, and that she was kind of left alone in her tragic story. So, uh, guys, what have you heard of her story? Um, if you're familiar with the story, comment below. Um, also, I have another article here that kind of uh, shows like her hauntings. So it says, according to the hotel's book, Beautiful Stranger. The ghost of Kate Morgan in the Hotel Del Coronado. Since that time, guests and employees have attested to ghostly goings on. Most have to do with Kate's original third floor guest room, where visitors have experienced flickering lights, a television that turns itself on and off, breezes coming from nowhere, inexplicable scents and sounds, items moving on their own accord, doors that randomly open and close, abrupt changes in room temperature, and unexplained footsteps and voices. The story of Kate Morgan continues to intrigue hotel visitors and the room in which she stayed is the most requested guest room at the hotel. Independent paranormal researchers, in turn, have documented supernatural activity in Kate's room using high-tech gadgetries, including infrared cameras, night vision goggles, radiation sensors, toxic chemical indicators, microwave imaging systems, and high-frequency sound detectors. There have also been Kate sightings in hotel hallways and along the seashore. Another very active area is the resort's gift shop, where visitors and employees routinely witness haunted happenings and giftware mysteriously flying off the shelves often falling upright and always unbroken so um it kind of repeated itself from the previous uh article but her room which is room 3327 at the hotel coronado which i hope one day to stay in um so i can find out for myself i've heard that if you stay in her room and if you're a male visitor, because she fancies male visitors, um, she'll lay next to you in bed. So I am not sure because both of these articles did not uh, say that. So I'm not sure how factual this is. I just remember uh, seeing it somewhere um, or reading it somewhere. So I'm not sure. But that's what I know her has, not of her tragic story, but I do feel for her. I feel for Kate Morgan and I hope to one day go to hotel Coronado and, and check this out and maybe uh, give her my blessing. I feel bad for her. She's gone through a lot and she was young. Um, She was fairly young. And the fact that she felt that she had to um, take her own life is, is sad. And she was alone. Um, Guys, 
what do you think of the story in, in of Kate Morgan? Comment below. And as always, I do go live every Saturday, Monday, and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific time. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, give or take. Um, I may change a day here or there. Um, also, check out my link tree, which is in the comments below, if you want to check out my socials, because that is the best way to find out if I have new content, because YouTube likes to be pesky and not notify people. If you have been following me for some time, Skeleduck, which is... Um, in a picture of Skeleduck is in the upper right hand corner. He is somewhere in this background. If you do find him, please let me know. Guys, I will check you, check you out. Oh my God. I cannot talk. I'm sorry, guys. Lately, I've not been able to talk, but I will catch you on the next one. Stay spooky, sweet nightmares. And thank you for watching. You guys again are awesome. See you on the next one.